Hello, my name is Kurt Brown, also known as St. Rambone. I have a website titled Mobile Audit Club. I was watching the uh, journalists talk about what's going on in Afghanistan. I am a degreed reporter and auditor in the United States. I have been attacked by the uh, current ruling regime in the United States. I say they are a regime. We do not have a democracy. When I hear Ms. Knoxide talking um, uh, about Afghanistan, I hear her talking about warlords, removing warlords, uh, rebuilding, the misuse of wealth, and the murder of journalists. As a federal bank examiner for the United States, or a formal federal bank examiner, I must tell you the grass is no greener here in the United States than what it is in Afghanistan. Uh, we are, I, would, I, I was uh, attacked after working as a bank examiner for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation in the United States. A federal, it is a federal banking regulatory agency. A regency director had been, a regional director had been murdered in San Francisco uh, back in the 90s and uh, around 1990. I was attacked in 2001 before 9-11. Uh, it was sometime, it was right around St. Valentine's Day or, or in February of 2001. I was attacked. I survived that attack. Later, the government, instead of responding to my uh, calls for help, they did everything they could to silence me. They took my gun permit, and then they, uh, I was in fear for my life. I had uh, reported a sheriff as stealing inmate food funds. They were starving inmates in jail. They were actually, uh, there were some inmates dying in Mobile County, Alabama. The sheriff was Jack Tillman at that time. Things have not changed any here since the sheriff was terminated. They have not changed for me. I was forcibly, forcibly injected and tortured. Uh, I have to warn Ms. Knox said that the grass never gets greener everywhere you, anywhere you go is the same. The United States is the same. I, I recommend that you get the regime out of, the, out of Afghanistan and solve your own problems. The less you have to do with the regime in power, that's not only the United States, but in foreign countries, uh, other countries including Germany, UK, and those other nations including Turkey, those nations who have been going over to, to Iraq and stealing oil, do not trust that regime. She sounds naive in some ways. I used to be naive and believe in that uh, the uh, regime in power in the United States would help us. They don't help anyone except for themselves. They're very wealthy. They do not care. Uh, the United States is extremely divided. You have some areas that are very educated and very wealthy. I was in San Jose, California. It's probably one of the more admirable places in the United States, but it's ironic. Most of the workers there are from foreign nations. It's very high tech and they're from foreign nations and they're very wealthy compared to much of the United States. Uh, many of the people in the United States, they, uh, such as in my home state of Alabama, Alabama as they call it, the people, uh, many people are poor, uh, they cannot afford education, the government misuses funds, they even came and pumped oil out of Mobile Bay, sold the people in Mobile, Alabama and Pritchard, Alabama, two rather poor communities, a natural gas contract and I saw with my own eyes tanker loads of oil leaving a refinery that had a pipeline into the bay. And you must realize that uh, the regime of power, particularly here in the southeast, uh, even the politicians attack each other with fists. I've had some people say, well you must be a queer, you don't fight with your fist. Well the, the reason I don't fight with my fist is because I'm educated and I know it means nothing. If I go out there and fight with my fist, I lose teeth. And if nothing else, I break somebody else's teeth out. Nothing changes. I believe in uh, an educated approach to things. I don't know. If, then again, I'm like Miss uh, Knox, uh, like the uh, like the lady journalist there. I'm uh, I kind of delude myself into thing, thinking things are better than what they are. Uh, I encourage you to uh, not ever expect any better from the United States or the ruling regime over the United States to come to Afghanistan to give you anything better than what your current so-called warlords give them. As you can see in my video, my first video, I have a federal agent come to my home. I wanted to be, I wanted to uh, report uh, news because our mass media does not report it. Anyway, I have this painting here for sale for $911 million. If you're ever interested anywhere, I can put it into trust for the people of the United States as more like an education fund. Uh, the um, we we will never be able to get out from underneath the United uh, underneath the primitiveness. Have a good day.